life in front of the camera. He started his career way back in 1939 as one of the little rascals in the R Gang series. Since then, he spent more than 50 years growing up in the public eye. He's best remembered for his starring roles in In Cold Blood, Of Mice and Men, Beretta. Six years ago, he dropped out of society because of his life off screen. He now says that almost killed him. He's making a comeback on CBS Tonight in the John List story, which has gotten wonderful reviews. Please welcome Robert Blake. <laughs> We have not seen each other in years. Hollywood Squares. You look 12 years old. You look 14. How come everybody? Yeah. <laughs> you look, they were telling me backstage how young you look. No, I'm not kidding you. You look great. Yeah, right, compared to, you know, what I used to look like. But that was a, uh, you thought I was Pauline. That's what I <laughs> <laughs> What the hell happened to you? What, you just felt? We didn't know each other well, but we knew each other Tonight Show, yeah. Hollywood Squares, yeah. Rodney McDowell's house, you know. Yeah. Gone. Just gone. Yeah. Yeah. I, <laughs> I haven't been in an uh, audience. That's the audience out yeah, there. <laughs> we call this audience. I ain't yes. seen one of them in six or seven years. Yeah. That's lovely. That feels oh, great, yeah. man. Yeah. I do. <laughs> that's cool. That's why, that's why I came back. That how, I how could you go away from all this? It's so wonderful. I, uh, well, I, uh, I did it for 50 years. I started yeah. when I was two years old. Yeah. And, and, and I just, uh, I, was, I was doing a series. I was like in the 16th episode of this the, series. This, the Priest, it was called? Yeah, Helltown. Helltown. And I just, uh, I just one day, it, one of those things happened, man. My ears started ringing. I started shaking. I looked down at the marks and I said, I can't do this anymore. And I just walked off in some kind of fog. I shouldn't have been there in the first place. I yeah. mean, I was drinking 95 cups of coffee a day and 100,000 baby roots, and I was taking sleeping pills every night, doing 50 different jobs. The point is, I was trying to kill myself. Yeah. I did that most of my life. I mean, I just, I, I should have never done The Tonight Show. I should have never done Beretta, all them crazy things. I was an actor. I should have just been acting. But Beretta was acting. Not really. After the first episode, what do you do then? Uh, uh, what part are you playing? Who's the director? Am I awake? Am I asleep? What, what yeah. episode is it? What, what, what's, what? I just, I was, you do a series on the way up or on the way down. You don't do a series when you're there. I was doing good movies, you know, In Cold Blood, Willie Boy, Electric Light, like I was working with good, uh, strong producers and directors. And then I go do a series and I throw it all away. Why but, did I do that? But you didn't throw it all away. Beretta made you known. Uh, Roseanne Arnold now is probably the most known person in the whole world. It opens a door for you to continue. Do you understand what I'm saying? And it makes you rich. Yeah, but. You then can do the rest of your life. You can, anything you, can do, you, do, you do. You can do Shakespeare. rest of your life you can do Shakespeare. Anything you do in front of the box makes you rich. It's yeah. monopoly money anyway. What are you going to do after you buy a bologna sandwich and a place to sleep? I mean, it's, it's you, all. The money is a joke. Robert. It's not a joke when you don't have it. Yeah, but you I mean, know once you saying? get it's in front very... of the box, you got it. But once, so it's wonderful. It frees you for everything else for the rest of your life. You can uh, then go off and do Shakespeare somewhere. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? <laughs> but, Being famous is one thing. Yeah. You know, Charlie Manson is famous. Yeah. <laughs> Being being good at something. You know, oh, yes. God gave me one thing to do that I was good at. He said, you can act. You don't know nothing about being a parent. You don't know how to be a husband. You don't know about nothing else. When you get in front of the box, hit the marks and say the jokes, you're good at it. Yeah. Just do that. Yeah. But I was never nice enough to myself, and I didn't know why. You remember all the time I'd get on those talk shows and beat up the press and yeah. beat up the studios, yes. and people would approach me with, with a ball bat and, and raw meat. They, they, would, they would walk across the street when they saw me coming. Yeah. There was no point in me doing all that. I yep. mean, 20 years on The Tonight Show for what? But you were wonderful in tonight show. Yeah, well, the, 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 the good news is I'm a perfectionist. The bad news is I put myself in terrible places where yeah. I shouldn't be and then try to roll my way out of yeah. it, you know, like yeah. making a silk purse out of a pig's ass. I can do it. I can do it. I can do it. I can yeah. do it. What am I doing there in the first place? Yeah. You know, comics should do the tonight yeah. show. People who want to sell books, singers, people are supposed to be there. I'd go on there. And in one night, I'd alienate half the population. Like, remember what was that, the worst? That, yeah, tell me that, the worst night on the Tonight Show that you can remember. 
I oh, had you on the other you, I'll tell you a terrible night. Okay. You know, those people on tonight's show, their conscience should hurt them a little because they, they should have said, Robert, are you sure you want to do this? You know, yeah. we don't need you to, to do. Remember like the, 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 the movie uh, 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 Network yes. where the guy goes crazy yeah. and the crazier he goes, the more they keep him on television right. and they say, wow, he's going nuts. Maybe he'll kill himself. The ratings will be great. Yeah. That's the way I got on The Tonight Show. I, I took a review. I did a movie once. The movie was lousy. Which it was movie an was that? awful movie. Something with, with Diane Cannon about trucks and nonsense. I should have never been anywhere near yeah. it. I mean, it was just a way. And the guy gave me a bad review, and I took it on The Tonight Show. And I had Johnny read the, t the, the review, and I ripped him apart. I ripped all the reviewers apart. I ripped Hollywood apart. I attacked Lou Wasserman. And Lou Wasserman was like my father. He saved my life more than once. He was the once. biggest agent then, the head of MCA. And time. he was the head of MCA. Yeah. He was the head of the joint where I was doing Beretta. Yeah. The times when they should have hung me by my thumbs, Lou would say, leave him alone. He's all right, leave him alone. And he'd take me up in his office and talk to, to me for hours. Yeah. And I'm beating him up. Yeah. And Carson is saying, well, that's great, man. When you come back from commercial, he's going to cut his whole heart out. Watch yeah, this. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but that's, our bi that's the nature of the business. We want freak shows. People yeah. watch freak shows. But... I, I, listen, I can't blame you? anybody on that show. They needed ratings, and yeah. I used to give it to them. Tell Once me. a month for 20 years, I go on every Friday night and cut my throat, and they say, hey, that's great, yeah. man. Remember what you did, which was funny, though, when you were at your worst period. You <laughs> bought the car, and you had the, the birds go to the bathroom all over it, and then you parked it in the lot. But that's okay. It was so great. Yeah, that's Tell cool. He, did very, he was like, see, I liked a lot of what you did. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> He was very angry. They did something really rotten to you when you were on Beretta. I, I had so this, go ahead. So you I bought this, this terrible car. I, oh, I did terrible yeah, go things. Go ahead. Go ahead. I, I, I had this producer that I hated, and, and he used to yell at me for parking in his parking space. So I went out and I bought this old car, and I put it under a blueberry tree. And I let the birds dump on it for about three weeks until it was absolutely vile. And then I took it and I parked it in his parking place. <laughs> And I think I ate the keys or something, so they had to tow it away. Yeah, you that know. was great. Everybody talked about that. But I never knew, Joan, I never knew why I did that to myself. Yeah. I mean, somebody say, there's the door. I say, I don't need a door. I can walk through a wall. Yeah, I remember that. I beat myself up. I beat other people up. I mean, I would stop on the freeway with a baseball bat and start screaming and yelling at somebody over nothing. And I never understood it. What happened to me was, I'm going to give yes. you this very briefly. No, but I, want, I was just going to say, why, 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 why? It all came to a head on Helltown. I wanted to kill myself. My life was over. I ran out of reasons for acting. I ran out of reasons for living. I just, all I knew is I didn't want to die, and I thought I was going to kill myself. I mean, I laid on my front room floor for six months just mumbling to myself. Where was someone to help you, Robert? Where were sometimes where was, people would yeah, try? Where was your agent? Somebody should have seen this. I was never nice this. enough to myself to have an agent or a manager. Where, I'd go to work when the phone rang. Where if they was your said, best friend? Hey, we want you to come and pick up this horse manure. I'd say, oh, okay, fine, and where, I'd go do it. Where was your wife? You were divorced from. I was divorced. Where was your girlfriend? Where was your best friend? Where was your family? I mean, I was one of those kind of people. You ever you ever go with somebody in a bar? And like he's gonna fight 12 people, and you say, hey, you know what? You leave me alone. I know exactly what I'm doing. Get the hell out of here. Leave me. I was like that. Yeah. People tried to talk to me. I said, I, I know exactly what I'm doing. Don't bother me. You wanna be my friend? Then shut up and leave me alone. And I go ahead and. <sighs> what about therapy? You never went into therapy? I was in therapy for 30 years. I was Obviously not with the right therapist. No. All That's I did was, <laughs> you know, I was my father's monkey. Yeah. So I took the leash from my father and I gave it to this guy. And for 30 years, I was his monkey. Let's go to commercial. Let's talk about Let's your childhood, okay? We'll be right back with more in a moment.